So my first experience of Skyblock this year was getting this achievement and my co-op partner trying to monopolize the tree supply. My tree. My tree. What followed was possibly the weirdest NPC interaction I have ever had. A Skyblock Island is part of a much larger universe. It's just like that moment when the main character gets told about the aliens and he goes, oh my god, there's life out there, and then, and then like, maybe the, the credits roll or something like that. So naturally, after this, I was expecting Jerry to introduce me to the rest of the Avengers, and as I went through the hub, I was shocked to meet an array of interesting characters who had their own unique backstories and... Okay, they just told me to go to a forest and they gave me this fancy new sword. Isn't this the thing that you right-click and then go super fast? Apparently not. <laughs> so being the newish player I was, I decided that was probably quite a good idea. I just got- I just got dungeon items. Really? <laughs> yeah. Come- Trade with me real quick. Wait, I found someone- someone's got a pet sitter. <sighs> I'm kind of disappointed because those items that someone dropped were actually half decent, and I just ignored them for multiple days of recording because- Ooh! Pet sitter eagle moment! Arriving at the forest, I displayed my usual prowess at local geography. I'm- I'm in the forest. He says, talk to the lumberjack. Where's the lumberjack? Oh. Oh, I walked past the lumberjack. And then went back to my 2012 survival world to punch wood for five minutes before finally being rewarded by a lumberjack named Lumberjack with an axe. At which point, I was immediately flexed on by a competent player. So I want to go investigate the castle. Come with me. Hold up. I gotta parkour around to the fairy thing. Why are we bringing- we're definitely There's a wolf! Him. Oh my god! There's a wolf. Oh, this guy's killing the wolves. Don't kill the wolves. I want one. I want to train one. Let's go in. Let's um, go in. I want to... Oh, it's coming towards me. Okay, it's friendly. It's friendly. Yeah, be friendly. No, it's friendly. Look. Oh, not friendly! Oh, no! Not friendly! <laughs> run! Run, run, run! I may have died and lost Wait. 176 coins. Oh, it's fine. oh, oh, run! I am on one health. I am on... Okay, we'll come back. I think, I think it's because they're wild. Maybe when they're not wild, like maybe if we get bones, then we might have a chance. Performing what can only be described as a tactical retreat from the castle ruins, I proceeded to get distracted by some NPCs and quickly found myself on new task. Oh wait, but there's someone down here. Look, there's a slayer. Click to view boss. Should we try the revenant horror? Yeah, all right. Oh. So now I have to kill. Let's go find them. We aren't gonna be able to kill it. Yes, we are. Where yes, are, we are. Look, Where I'm are fighting you? it. I'm fighting it. It's actually not even good. Like, I'm gonna win. It's not even good. Beat it with me. I'm beating it. I'm beating it. I'm beating it. Oh, I'm on half I'm health. On oh, I'm on one health. <laughs> Slayer quest yeah. failed. Did we learn to play the game before fighting this? Thank you. See, the problem with our plan was that killing a boss is really cool, but also requires skill and good items, both of which I did not have. So, following two defeats, or L's if you're a Bed Wars player, we decided to fix one of those and headed to the mines to get armor. We set to work quickly and soon managed to make some basic iron armor, after we realized that we had fought the boss with no armor at all, and mined this all-important piece of iron. Hey, this should do it. There we go, I have access to the deep caverns. During this period, we also picked up some fancy new swords, were given some more free stuff, and created some new minions to lord over on our island. So now that we were able to restore the feudal system as it should have correctly been, I remembered the reason I was doing all this. To have fun- No, I'm just kidding, I wanted to have a dog. So, if we go to the mines, we can get bones, and then we can get ourselves some dogs. Why do you want a dog? I just want a dog, man! The plan was simple. Get better armor, Go to the diamond reserve and then slay enough skeletons so that we could tame a whole army of dogs. So, like my voice for the majority of my teenage years, we needed to go deeper. Oh my god! Oh yes, the the, the, the creepers. Okay, I don't remember this. Oh, it does like no damage. We have to go down to get to the lapis. Oh, it's a creeper! That took half my hearts. No, it's another one! As you have just seen, the journey was fraught with peril. But eventually, many ah man sound effects later we made it to the familiar site of the Lapis Mine.
The next few days were like a training arc of any superhero movie, where they must overcome their inner struggle, in our case being poor and having no items, to succeed against all odds. We killed zombies, upgraded our minions and armoured up. I even ventured into the mine below with the help of a person who gave me free stuff. Is he just like getting me to unlock all the collections? Oh, okay. Where did he go? He was killed! Oh no! Oh, oh god! My teammate was killed and I'm in a really bad position. Why does it spawn right there? I wanna leave. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I quit. And then, I was ready. It was time for revenge. To take on the Revenant Horror. One on one. Mano a mano. It was early in the morning. Pistols at dawn. The lag was in full force. It was time to duel. Here we go. Come here, Revenant Horror. I'm gonna beat you up, but in a respectful way. I think... I did it! Yeah, I know. It was a bit of an anticlimax, but I drove home my victory by slaying the beast again. We'll do it. Ready? Looting. Give me looting. I got two this time instead of one. I'm calling that a win. Spirits raised, I decided to explore a bit more of the surrounding area and quickly came across a new, bitter rival. Who the hell is Gustav? Why are there all these new characters? Why can't stories just keep their, like, original characters? Like, what happened to Jim, or whatever their name was, from the villager bit at the start? Oh, there's Gustav. Hello, Gustav. Okay, so I better use my theme jigsaw to make myself go fast. For those of you who don't know, Gustav tells you to compete in a timed race. Let's just say I don't react well to competition. Yes, I'm gonna do it. Suck it, Gustav! Suck your- yeah, suck your two minute time. I hope you can get a better than this. Why? It was on. I kept failing the one minute challenge and I could see Gustav's lizard head laughing at me every single time until finally. Come on, Gustav. I'm trying. I'm so close. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I did it. Screw you, Gustav. Screw you and your entire lizard headed people. I mean, what is this? Yeah, not my proudest moment. Shortly afterwards, while chopping the different tree types in an attempt to catch them all, I happened across a shifty looking group in the forest, so I went to say hello. Why are they torturing this, like, skin that a 12 year old downloads? Oh no, he's not being tortured. Oh my god, is it a cult? Oh my god, I want to join your cult. He's actually a cult. Survive 10 seconds in the campfire. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why did I go through with this? Well, like every other sane person, my career path relied on me joining a cult at some point, so I figured I might as well get some work experience. Plus, I did get this cool merit badge. Heal four while burning. Yeah, you don't want to see what happened next. Okay, no more side quests. During the days that had passed, and the many misadventures had, I had been collecting bones from the skeletons on my island, and I thought that was a pretty big brain move. And so I'd gathered enough to venture back to the castle that looked like it was something out of the Fallen Kingdom cinematic universe. So I think it doesn't work when they're, yeah, angry like that. That's not gonna, like, I'm not gonna be able to tame that. Let's see, so I need to get them when they're, why is it taking so many? Is there like one inside that I could tame? Oh, level 50 old wolf. Okay, I didn't do 50 damage and they do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. Nope, I'm going away. I'm going away. Okay, wait, my bones are back. Okay, jump to there. We're gonna get out of this castle, I think. What was that? Why is there a Sven? Oh, is this one of the, um... Wait, 1.9 million health! Oh my god! No, I don't wanna fight you! What? I'm running, I'm running. Okay, okay, we're good. Nope, we're not good. Nope, nope, they're still coming. Come here. Be my pet! No, don't kill me! Okay, alright, I give up. I give up. Deeply upset by this revelation, I turned to one of the more recent updates after accidentally stumbling into some old guy's shop. My logic was, I take it wolves are a type of pet, so it would make sense that George maybe offered stuff. Now I need to find where George is. After that masterclass in logical reasoning, I impulse bought the cheapest wolf pet I could find and discovered that I must be playing Assassin's Creed because I had finally synchronized with the memories of my peasant ancestors. Oh yeah, then I had to explain this to my co-op partner. I figured I'd try a three-pronged approach. Distraction. So firstly, let's check out my new armor. 
Don't check the bank. Come back to the island. Don't check the bank. How much money did we Don't have? Don't check the bank. Appeal to cuteness. Look at it. It's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool! And bribery. I'll let you buy one too, we can both- I don't one. want to buy- And finally, acceptance. So I was so sad, I was downtrodden. And then, I realized that I could do what every person should do, and just buy many things. That seems like that's, a really good not, strategy. That's not what you're supposed to do. And then he wanted to be boring and enchant our swords so we could actually progress at the game. So while we went about mining obsidian, I was thinking of a plan. See. For me, this was the end of Act 3. I had achieved my goal and managed to annoy my co-op partner in the process. But Silverus was at the hero's low point right now. He had been ignored, robbed of his wealth, and even killed a few times. Totally not my fault, by the way. And then, a miracle happened. Remember those dungeon items that we got at the start of the video? Well, we'd actually put some up for auction earlier in the day. And it turns out, well... A 10,000 on Enchanted Book! Yes! We're in the money! We're in the money! We're making lots of money, that's how the song goes. Thank you so much, Anev underscore, from saving us from a lifetime of- Of debt. Basically just debt. Thanks to an earlier travelling zoo, I used my two years of economics training to determine that the supply of lion pets, a pet that Silverus actually liked, had greatly increased. See, if we look at this graph I made earlier, the price moves from... Man, two years for this? Anyway, I decided that Silverus would have to admit that the pets were cute, and by extension, that I was right if I bought him a lion pet. Oh yeah, and of course I had to get one too. So I'm gonna leave you guys here, and we're gonna see if in 7 minutes and 30 seconds we come away with two lion bags. Did I win it? Did I win it? Did I win it? No. I'm only gonna win one of them. I could outbid for this one. I must do it. Quickly. I want to win two. I did it. The time has come. Like my personal hero, Emperor Palpatine, it was time to reveal my plan to Silverus, to prove once and for all that the Empire did nothing Wait, sorry. Um, to prove once and for all that spending large quantities of money on pets with tiny buffs was an amazing plan. So I want to show you something cool. While I were you away, I saw that we had a bit of money, you know. Now, you spent the money, didn't you? I didn't spend the money. However, well, I spent... There was some money spent. However, look at this. <laughs> look at this. It's so cool. Oh my god, it's a lion. Okay, okay, I forgive you. If you think that's cool. And I... No, how much did the lion Right-click it. Right-click it. What does it do? Look at it! It's so cute! It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Okay, I'll give it- I'll give you it. That's fine. But look at them! They're so cute! And they are very cute. We'll get them at the right time. Hold on. Sh okay. Silverus Jr., can you chill out back there for a second? Wait, what are you calling yours? I need to name mine. Hold on. Went Silverus Jr. Okay. Yeah. It took all my strength not to make fun of that. I shall call mine Gertrude. <laughs>